All right, next one was from Frank. He says, howdy, uh, howdy y'all. Anyway, I can make money ranking for real estate stuff with SEO. I don't have much money to buy and flip land, but I do have access to an existing strong site in another niche and can get my hands on a nice expired domain in real estate with existing good links, but not sure a way I can monetize. Okay, there's a few things you can do with that. Um, first of all, you don't need money to buy and flip land. You really don't. The other thing you need money for is marketing uh, for direct mail. That's the way I look at it. I know you're asking about digital marketing, but um, you don't need money to flip land. Trust me. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. You can flip money with flip land with no money down um, other than just paying for marketing. Like seriously, um, it's fabulous. And it's so much less competitive than flipping houses is. I, I loved it. I did it for two years as a side hustle. The only reason why I stopped doing it was because I wanted to really refocus all of my effort back into the SEO business. Um, I really did enjoy the, the land flipping business though. Um, and I said this before, but for the two years that I did it, it was about a year and a half that I did it consistently, flipped land uh, consistently as a side hustle. And I, every month for the, for 18 months, nonstop, I made a minimum of four figures per month. A lot of months I made over five figures. I never cracked 20 K in a month flipping land. My best month was 18,000. Um, but I did my first month flipping land. I made $15,495 or 995. Anyways, it was just under $16,000. I'm not kidding. Then my very first month when I launched my land flipping business, I made uh, 16, just under $16,000. And I was, I, I was like, oh, I'm hooked. I thought of for a year and a half, I, I, I considered getting out of the SEO industry. Um, well, for others, I was going to do it for my own business, but you know what I mean? I literally thought about that for a year and a half, but I felt bad. It's part of the reason I ended up stopping with the land flipping business and refocusing back on SEO because I felt obligated to my partners and to our students, our members of Semantic Mastery and everything else. I thought I felt I felt bad. Like seriously, it was a moral dilemma I was having. So that's why I, I stopped flipping land, but it's a great business. Um, anyway, back to your question about the digital side of it. Um Think about this too, man. The people that are in the real estate industry, the the investing side of it, not the realtor side of it, those bastards are cheap. I don't want to paint with such a broad brush. Only the most successful realtors um, spend money on marketing. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of broke realtors out there, and uh, they're they're cheap. <laughs> so just so you know, and I, again, if I if, if there's any realtors watching this, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking directly to you. Well, maybe I am. Anyway. Um, I know that's a very broad brush to paint with, but uh, real estate investors, they spend a ton of money on education, guys, tactics to get better results. So why not consider this? Just consider getting into the real estate uh, invest in, investment affiliate side of things. In other words, if you've got uh, a really good domain that is strong and that's in the real estate, why not consider setting up an affiliate site? Again, I don't do affiliate marketing, but if I was to get back into doing real estate stuff besides just flipping land, not houses anymore, because land is so much easier, so much easier in my opinion. Um, but why not get into doing affiliate promotions and marketing for real estate investment training and coaching stuff? Because those are high ticket stuff. I mean, real estate coaching courses are like easy, three grand, five grand, 10 grand. I'm not kidding. I mean, I've bought a lot of them myself over the years. Um, I've spent a lot of money on real estate investment training and courses and coaching over the years because I used to do it 2004 to 2008 or 2003 to 2008 too. I used to flip houses way back then. And so, I mean, it was easy to drop three grand on a training course or a weekend seminar or uh, five grand. Uh, no kidding. I mean, is that that's just normal in the real estate investment industry for people to spend that kind of money on training and coaching programs. So I would consider possibly getting into doing affiliate marketing for uh, real estate investment training. Because that's something you don't need really any money for. It's it, especially if you're talking about sticking strictly to digital marketing. Uh, you know, when it comes to actually flipping properties, a lot of that is physical. Like it's not just digital stuff, right? The physical mail, which works great. Direct mail works fantastic for, especially for land, but probably for houses as well. Um, but a lot of that is also remember talking with people and, making deals and signing contracts and setting up closings and all that. So if you want to avoid all of that, not that it's not super lucrative, uh, cause it is, it can be, but if you want to avoid all that and just stay behind the computer, then perhaps doing affiliate marketing. Like I said, if I was to get back into real estate, I would seriously consider still flipping land, but also doing affiliate marketing for real estate 
um, investment training and coaching. There's a lot of money in that industry. Those people in that industry spend a shit ton of money on trying to get an edge over all their competitors. So there's a lot of opportunity there to make real um, affiliate money. So, and good commissions too. So I would check that out. Okay. And think about that. If you have a real estate site that you do well with SEO and um, it starts to rank and you start generating affiliate income, you could potentially monetize that, like also get into the investment side of things with that same site. You could piggyback off the authority that you've built to that site uh, to, you know, to, to acquire properties, whether it's houses or land or whatever, right? So there's a number of ways you could cross monetize that.